Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we have two waters. These are both sparkling waters. First up is called, I believe it's called Gerolstein. It's a sparkling mineral water from Germany. This is from the 1800s, and it's in a nice, unique glass bottle. Next up is called Spindrift. And as you can see on the can, it says sparkling water. It says water right there. You know, this channel is called John Drinks Water. I normally only review waters, and I'm only reviewing this because it says it's water. But honestly, I'm a little bit uncomfortable even reviewing this at all, because it says that they add fruit, and it's, it's this is also a sparkling water. So, I'm not even sure if this is really water or not, but I'm going to be reviewing it anyway. And um, it says it has 8% juice in here. So it's only 92% water, really. It says the ingredients are sparkling water, blackberry juice, fresh lemon juice, uh, and blackberry. A bottle of water, really the only ingredient should be water. So I don't really like that just to start off with. This also has 15 calories in here. Water should have no calories. It also has a gram of sugar. It also has three grams of carbohydrates. Water shouldn't have sugar or carbohydrates. Okay, spin drift. So you're starting off with pretty big negatives right there. The German water, Gerol Stein, has been around since 1888. It says it has no sugar, no calories, no fat. It says Gerol Stein contains calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate, and it's low in sodium. And it's supposed to be good for your health. That's what it says. All right, so let's open them up and do a taste comparison, see which one tastes better. Again, I need to stress that I'm very biased in this review because I do not like sparkling water, and these are both sparkling. Let's try the Gerolstein. Yeah, it's not good. It just... It's not good to me at all because I don't like the sparkling waters. It is pretty cool that they have a metallic lid. That's kind of a nice touch. So let's open up the spin drift. It sounds like a soda and it smells like juice. I haven't even tasted it yet. I can already smell like a juice smell. Yeah, that's, that's just not water. It's not water at all. Like, I, I shouldn't be drinking this on this channel, really. Alright. It tastes exactly like it sounds on the bottle. It, it tastes like carbonated water with juice added. The cool thing about the spin drift is they say that they give 1% of their sales to help the environment. And it's not 1% of their profits, it's 1% of sales. So it's a little bit more than, you know, just 1% of sales. So it's kind of a good thing, I guess, if you like the environment. I mean, it's good that they do that. just not good. I mean, I finished this whole can pretty quickly. It's a pretty good sign that um, it's better than the German one. But I still have to give both of these a thumbs down just because they're not good compared to regular water. They're just not. I should be enjoying this, but it's like a struggle just to get it down. Yeah, so, Spin Drift is moving on to the next round. Congratulations, Spin Drift.